All right, guys, we're just going to make this a little part two video. We have got this old relay out. If you just watched the other video I did diagnosing the relay in there, and we can see that this side is definitely burn up. If you looked in there, the contacts are all bad. There's some burn places right there. And then on this side, the little pad that should be there touching the, the top terminal up here, it's not quite closed. It's not actually touching it. So that's why we were getting no continuity from the top to the bottom. So both sides of this thing were bad. And for the most part, those are pretty reliable relays. I do have to say that that's one of the better relays out there. But you do get them bad. So we've got the new one mounted in there. And we're going to go ahead and run our final tests on it. All right, we're on amps. So we're just going to do a little blower on. Let's get our power back on. And we're just going to go blower on. And there we go. We had no blower there in the other video. So we've got a blower on, high speed. We'll turn that off. And now we're going to go back to our emergency heat setting. We're going to go back to heat with the temperature up. And we're going to check that blower through the sequencer back there in the back. We're going to let that sequencer warm up and time out. There we go. There's the blower. And that's like medium high, yellow. Another few seconds and we'll get the heater. This is just 5kW. There's a heater and a blower. So our new relay is working perfectly. So let's go ahead and turn our heat back off. We'll put her back to normal. Don't ever make the mistake of leaving your homeowner's thermostat set on emergency heat. After they get a couple of five or six hundred dollar power bills, they're gonna come looking for you. So let's don't do that. So you see our heater is off. The sequencer is timing out the blower. We've got a few more seconds and it should turn off. There we go. All right, so we're good to go on that blower relay. I just thought I would go ahead and show you the finished product. We definitely had a problem with that one up there. She was bad. All right, you guys, the only other thing I can recommend on those and, and every relay, and man, I've made the mistake myself, make sure you grab one with a 24 volt relay. Every now and then you'll get one with a 240, a high voltage coil on the relay and they'll get mixed in with your low voltage coils and you'll go through all this trouble putting the thing on you'll go over there like a big shot and flip your fan to on thinking you've got it and then it don't come on and you can't figure out why and you get to looking at the box your relay was in or you dig your relay out and look on the side of it and it's a dang high voltage coil so that mistake has been made by myself more than once so now I mark all those on my van. I do keep one or two of those because every now and then you come across them on some commercial stuff. But I mark those very clearly with a Sharpie marker so I can't ever accidentally mix them up. So anyway, just another thing to keep in mind, you guys. Again, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.